Mm. Power pass power. This one that dropped is explosive. In fact, this this one ah now wow. This world is divided into different angles. Oh, is the one that you see that you think that you know. In this life, you need to be physically and spiritually strong. You need to have enough power to fight, withstand your enemies. Your enemies are not joking, oh, they are not playing. They, they don't just want to scratch you. They want to make sure that they cut off your legs and hands. Ever since this Jerry Williams issue started, in fact, a lot of people who stood behind him like, no, this cannot happen. This should not happen. As you all know, majority of these Nollywood actors belong to one courty, one society. You know what I'm saying? Secret this, secret that. To enhance, to protect. But sometimes they often will jam what is bigger than them. Sometimes that thing is not as powerful. But because of their own lackadaisical attitude, because they dull themselves, that thing will penetrate them. Now, let me refresh your memory. You see, Jerry Williams, actor Jerry Williams, was not responding to treatment. It has now passed the stage where Jerry Williams is now putting uh, food in his nose and the doctors could not understand why he was not responding to treatment. Well, area fathers, if you know, you know, gather together like, wait, what is going on here? We have to put an end. We have to solve this problem. All of them gathered themselves together and they gave Judy Austin, Judy Balabala, Jezebel, Enugu Bag of Rice, Barrel Chest. They gave her the warning, ultimatum, threat of her life. Yes, they are also looking for her. Physically and spiritually. I don't know, maybe whenever they come looking for her, she will change to a snake, to a serpent, or a python, or something. Or she will change to a fish, or whatever it is. Or she will just disappear. I don't really know. So, according to the report, um, the area fathers, the secret culty, the society men, if you know what I'm saying, they went to the, 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 the location where um, Judy Austin will often come for their local movies. They left a warning. All of them gathered together as a group. They left a warning. They left serious warning for Judy Austin. They gave her 48 hours. Why is it 48 hours? I don't know. But only, only these people understand these things. They understand spiritual things. Because right now, they say Jerry Williams' situation is extremely critical. But there are certain steps that are being taken right now to make sure that they elevate all of this so that it can respond to treatment. You know, that kind of situation where you are being taken care of and the person who attacked did not stop but decided to look for other means to increase your pain, increase your problem. That is why they say power past power. There are certain people you do not attack. There are certain people you don't go for. So whilst everyone is looking into Jerry Williams' um, illness and his um, recovery and solutions and all of that, yeah, this is to let Juju Austin know that her time is up. A lot of people are ready for her. It's not as if she's very strong and powerful. It's just that she's cunning. That's just what it is. This is how one of the lord in the movie industry, a producer, a director... Is called Ugezu Ugezu. I'm talking of a man who has influence. Some call him Ebube DK. He has ground and level. I'm talking of a man who said he is not a Christian, neither is he a Muslim. If you know, you know. Now, as all of this group of people gathered together, and when Ugezu Ugezu stepped into it, automatically, People started realizing, Jerry Williams himself started realizing that things started getting better. It seems Juju Austin has removed her hands slowly, slowly from Jerry Williams. Ugezu, Ugezu did something. And I want you to interpret it yourself. He came out and 
hit his leg, stamped his leg three times on the ground and warned Juju Austin and also warned the industry, Nollywood industry. According to the report, they said Ugezu, Ugezu warned the president of the Nollywood industry. According to Ugezu, Ugezu, he said, look at what you people added into the life of my godson, Jerry Williams. I did not even know that he was his godson. So right now, the godfather has risen up to talk, to stand for his godson. Now, you'll be wondering why Ugezu, Ugezu decided to face the president of the Nollywood industry. You'll be wondering why he decided to do this. He said they have no right to publicly announce this, that they were trying to dent, taint and dent the image of Jerry Williams, regardless of whatever spiritual attack or whatever it is that happened to him, that they had no right to publicly demarket him, that they would have allowed him to silently, quietly deal with his situation and condition. He said none of this was supposed to be out on social media, that such matters like this are sensitive and they are supposed to be dealt with in such a manner. Now, I want you to pay attention. Let us get into the nitty-gritty of the matter. Let us enter into the core of the story of the matter that is on ground after he has finished warning the president of the Nollywood industry. Now, Ugezu Ugezu went to the final part, the second part of it. He said to Judy Austin, he said, first, I will not blame you. I will not blame you because these men were the ones that went after the serpent. He said, I have been watching you, Juju Austin, spiritually. I've been watching you. I know many of you are desperate. When you come into the industry, you come with various wicked intention. I am a traditionalist. I am not a Christian. I do not believe in forgiveness. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, leg for a leg, neck for a neck. He said, if you want to tamper with Yule Doche and other people, you can. You are free. After all, they are the ones who saw problem, trouble, and they decided to jump into it. No, you cannot do this to my own godson. It is not possible. Now, Ugezu went a step further. He said that he called, contacted Peter Doche, veteran actor, the father of Yule Doche, telling him, informing him that your daughter-in-law because what we heard is that your son you went to pay the bride price your daughter-in-law is responsible for the avoc atrocity the critical condition of my godson he went on to say juju austin and satan matches i know all your kayamata thing this kayamata talk this lies that you that you put under your kayamata Acting like it is an aphrodisiac, something to enhance. No, it is actually evil, demonic, wicked. I know, I know all of it. According to Ugezu Gezu, he said he consulted the oracle. And the oracle told him that Juju Austin, Judy Austin, is responsible for the calamity that befell Jerry Williams. And according to him, he said that he warned Juju Austin spiritually, that he communicated spiritually, and he warned her, telling her, remove your finger, remove what you installed into Jerry Williams. Simple as ABC. If not, it will be battle between myself and you. I know there are several of you some appear as human beings, but you are snake. Some appear as human beings, but you are python, serpent. Many of you walk the surface of the earth, but what is inside of you? If people's eyes are open to see, they will be shocked. And he made Judy Austin to understand that everything she knows, he knows it. And much more because he has gone higher up in the spiritual realm. Now... 
I want you to pay attention in case you are in the industry because Ugezu Ugezu said something, said all the people that Satan Martins, Juju Austin had something to do with. He said, I know you, but I don't need to mention your names. Even if you are not in the industry, if you know that you have collabo with Judy Austin, you have to look for ways to get yourself cleansed. It is highly important because what you have inside of you, if it is not working, if it is not already finishing you, is called time bomb. If you don't, may you not end up battling like Jerry Williams. Well, it is a good one. It is a good one to have a godfather. Ugezu is standing gidiga, standing strong behind Jerry Williams. If not, what would have become of him? He thought that he is also a superman. He thought that he is a ladies man. He thought that he saw and found something easy to penetrate. But when he collaborated the uncollabo, look at what has happened to him. The battle line has been drawn. Ugezu has made it known, clear to Juju Austin that everything that you have done to my godson remove it i know there are others out there but they are not my godson and i cannot jump into what does not concern me unless they come seeking for help advice suggestion from me but this that i'm saying should also be a wake-up call to all of them and of course to women like juju austin just imagine how juju austin manipulated turned planted into jerry williams this terrible habit you might be wondering what is this thing that is wrong with jerry williams well for your information jerry williams started sniffing the unsniffable he started taking the untakeable he started injecting the uninjectable just imagine he became a shadow of himself look at how yule Duce is behaving on social media was there a time during the career of Yule Doche as an actor, a director, that you saw him on social media misbehaving to this extent? Not until himself and Juju Austin started, you know, showing themselves publicly. That was when that glory, that star, that common sense, that mind that will tell you, don't do this, that caution mind disappeared. Look at him. Look at him. You too, look at how he behaves. Look at how he talks. Look at how he jumped on Davido, David Adeleke's story, where a lady accused him of getting, he said, everybody's talking about me as if I'm the only, look at that one. So, so people are hiding themselves. Now look at it. Don't, just wait. Do you see the level of insanity? Do you see how low he has dropped? For him to have equated that to himself, for him to have put himself in that picture, it shows that a man of 40 something, let us even leave age. How does it even match? How do you put yourself in that? Someone that is supposed to be trying to douse, remove, erase this stigma, this stamp that has been placed on him. He is still putting himself on the light light of dirtiness, of foolishness, of wickedness, of rubbish. Who does that? Like and share this video. It's very important. See you in the next update.